Some of the other uh, groups that came, a group known as the people of Kanda. And these people of Kanda, subhanallah, they came and they asked questions to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, won't you accept Islam? They said, Bala, indeed, we will accept Islam. We have, you have answered our questions, we are satisfied. So the Prophet sallallahu told them, what is the piece of silk that you have on your necks? They immediately took it out, ripped it and threw it away. Done. Why am I saying this? To show you that people who accepted Islam, new Muslims, as soon as they were told what was halal and haram, they surrendered to it without even asking a question. He only asked, what is that? Now in Islam, we heard in Medina Munawwara, the Prophet ﷺ got up one day, he put gold in one hand and he put silk in the other. And he says, Inna hadayni haramun ala dhukuri ummati. These two are prohibited for the males of my ummah. There we are. Jewelry, any form of jewelry prohibited for a male. Males are not allowed to wear jewelry. Jewelry is for females. These people, this soft touch, immediately they ripped it and put it aside. How many of us are ready to give up our chains and earrings that we've been wearing for years as men, as males? We're not talking to the females here. As males, wallahi, if we can give it up for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tonight, perhaps we will enter Jannah just through the one deed that we have on our records. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our men, our young boys as well. Don't feel hurt that you're going to lose a chain that's stuck around your neck. You remove it immediately, take off your earring, throw it out and say, Ya Allah, if jewelry is not for men, I have heard what the people of Kanda have done, Ya Allah, help me to grant me Jannah in the same way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us Jannah.